The thing you want to manifest won't manifest unless you are selfish. What do I mean by that? You must do it for you. Oftentimes we want to manifest for others, okay? And when you're manifesting for others, you're missing the main part of the equation, which is you, universe. You universe, you are the universe. Everything surrounds you, right? You are the center of your world. If you look out of your eyes, everything surrounds you. Everywhere you walk, everywhere you go, you are the center of the universe. It doesn't matter if you're on the moon or you're on planet Mars, you're still the center because everything surrounds you. We got to understand this on a core level. Now we use the word selfish in a negative connotation that is bad, right? Being selfish or loving on yourself or giving to yourself is very important in terms of manifesting. Most people are manifesting from a hole or a void. Like I need to do this to give on to others. When you're not giving to yourself or you're not receiving love back, right? And so you have to fill your cup with love in manifesting that money for you, only you. You can, you can then support your family with it. You can then support your kids with it. But no, I want to be successful financially for me, right? I want to feel good about my finances for me, nobody else. If you can get into that mindset, it's so empowering, empowering because we think giving is um, powerful, which it is, but giving from a half empty cup, right? Is not the same as giving when you feel whole and complete with your finances, whole and complete with your inner peace and your fulfillment and your joy and all of this stuff. Now you're giving from a holy, holy, that came out by accident, a wholly different place. You're giving, you're giving from a wholly different place, right? I meant to say whole different place. And we got to realize that um, many times we find it hard to take action on what we want to take action towards because our mindset is I need to do it to help people, right? I want to start a YouTube channel because I really want to help uh, the people out there. I want to become a conscious, you know, law of attraction speaker, or I, I want to talk about spirituality. I want to talk about crystals or tarot, or, you know, I want to do this because I want, I want them to have this. But what do you get out of it, right? And if this feels icky to you, that is also the problem, right? If this feels like weird to you, that is also the problem that you don't want to do it for you, right? That is bad or like it's, 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 it's toxic or it's like weird or whatever it is. Right? It feels a little bit uncomfortable. It feels like a little bit, huh? Like I'm doing it for me, right? This is what we gotta understand, right? That we've been taught our whole lives that we need to give to others, support others, help others, especially if you're empathic, you're just naturally given to others, but you forget about yourself, right? The amount of love that you put out, do you get the same level of love back? I know a majority of you will say no. Comment that below, right? I wanna, I wanna see. I wanna see what, comment below. Are you, are you getting the same amount of love back that you are giving? Right? A lot of you, it's a big fat no, do you know why? because you're giving too much, you're too nice, <laughs> right? The, etymo the etymology of nice, the original meaning of nice is foolish, right? It's foolish. Don't be nice. You can be kind, but don't be nice, right? I'm a kind person. I'm not a nice person, as my uh, friend would say, my spiritual friend would say, right? I'm a kind person. I'm not a nice person. I had someone apply for my alchemy energy reading and we require there's a certain requirements in order to get this free alchemy energy reading in fact you can get that in the description the alchemy energy reading to find out where you resonate at on this vibrational chart on screen right now if you resonate low on this chart you're going to struggle with the law of attraction if you resonate high on the chart you know you're going to see amazing results with the law of attraction all right but there's, there's a qualification process right and this specific woman she didn't qualify and she was butt hurt by not qualifying right she was, she was hurt, she was literally hurt that she didn't qualify and it was around uh, money, right? Now, I could say, hey, you know, I feel sorry for you, you know, I'm st we're still gonna do the manifestation diagnosis session, we're still gonna do the free energy reading for you, blah, 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 but guess what? 
she's now overstepping my boundaries, right? She's not realizing all the work that I've done to get where I am today, right? She's not realizing that actually my YouTube channel is completely free and people have become millionaires watching my free content and this is actual facts, right? People have become six figures, seven figure earners just from my free content on YouTube, all right? This is no joke and so, when I, when I set a precedence, when I, when I set a boundary that, hey, you need to qualify to work with me, it's now a problem and you're butt hurt by it. That's your own issue, right? I'm kind, but I'm not nice. I give a lot of value on YouTube, right? I give a lot of content. I do a lot of work on myself. I do a lot of uh, studying and researching and all this stuff, right? But you want everything for free. You want everything to be easy for you. You want everything to be giving you, uh, uh, you know, in a platter, right? Putting a spin, spin food feeding you. No, do you know how much work I done to get where I am today? So when I hear someone say that, I'm, I'm just like, bruh, <laughs> what are you talking about? You're butt hurt by it, right? And this person, specific, this specific person, wanted to manifest a business, right? And business is about money, right? She was butt hurt about money. And I can tell you with that frail, easy to be offended mindset in business, you're gonna have a very hard time becoming successful with that mindset. And so going back to the point of the video, being selfish is key. Be okay with following your path. Be okay with traveling to wherever you wanna travel. Be okay with leaving people behind. You gotta do what you need to do in order to be happy. It's more than family, it's more than blood, it's more than this dynamic, right? You gotta understand that you are here for more than that. Right? I'm not saying they're not important people or anything like this. What I'm saying is it's more important for you to focus on vibration and your healing and your path. And that's gonna do more for the world, more for your family than they can ever imagine. They might not know it, they might not see it, they might not um, uh, understand it, but in the spiritual realm, you following your path is doing so much. It's inexplainable. Do things for you. Start taking yourself out on dates. I went out, I took myself out on a date two days ago for some Indian food. It was delicious. Mm, 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 mm. That was some delicious Indian food here in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. And I loved it and I wanna go back for more, right? Did that for myself, right? Go get that massage, right? Go, go, go for that walk in the park. Go do things for you, find time for you. And the path that you're on, the money that you want to make, the success that you want to have, make it about you first, them second. So important. When you make it about them first, you're always going to be reaching, procrastinating, struggling, whatever it is. When you're loving yourself enough to have the self that you want, like when you're loving yourself enough to be the person that you want to be and feeling fulfilled and blah, 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 guess what? You're taking action, you're going forward, and now others benefit from that indirectly. The number one rule of survival, right, is self-preservation, self preservation, right? But for some reason, the empaths be forgetting about this, right? We've got to take care of the self. Put your mask on first, then put the other person's mask on that needs support after. Now, I'm sure some of you here would like to get support on your path in making it successful, getting the inspiration, being a part of a community, getting some coaching, some mentoring, guidance to make the reality that you want manifest much quicker. And that's why we offer the free alchemy energy reading and the uh, manifestation diagnosis session at alchemyenergyreading.com or you can go ahead and click the link on the description. Again, if you resonate low on this chart, you're gonna struggle with the law of attraction. If you resonate high on this chart, you're gonna manifest way easier, all right? Way easier. I have people manifesting crazy amounts of money. You see the crazy amounts of money on screen right now, and this is what's available for you. It all starts with the free energy reading and the manifestation diagnosis session, all right? Check out this video over here. <laughs> and check out my free part series on how to raise your vibration correctly. And remember to keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding, and I'll speak to you soon. Peace.